Hey guys, welcome to part two in my graffiti tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna talk about combining letters. In the last video, I taught you how to basically create a letter with the letter structure formula. But in this one, I'm gonna show you how to actually, you know, sort of position your letters together. Um, so we're gonna have to pick a word to write. Um, how about, how about tame? So T-A-M-E. All right, now basically we want to make sure that the letters are spaced out properly. So let's just, sorry about my dog. All right, so let's start out with our T. All right, now we're gonna do our A. Now we're gonna do our M. Now our E. So there we go, we got all our letters. But when I look at these letters, I mean, the M and the E look like they're buddies, they're sticking together, but it looks like the A's kinda keeping some distance from the M. So we're gonna fix that. We're just gonna totally, totally delete this A from our page. We're gonna redraw it a little bit closer to the M. That looks better. And now obviously our T's too far away, so we're gonna fix that up as well. See, now that looks a lot better than when I first started out. If anything, I'd say the M's a little too wide, but we're not gonna be too fussy, so let's just go with this. Now we're just gonna close off the top of the M and the E. All right, now here's where we get into the fun stuff. A lot of people would think that if you're trying to combine letters, you have to somehow intertwine them, but that's not totally true. There's some simple ways that you can do this. Um, remember how I taught you about the, uh, the serifs or whatever, you know, how we can have these little parts at the bottom and the top that jut out of the side? Well, they're a really effective way to connect letters, at least I find. So I'm going to show you a way of doing this. Let's say we have one coming off of this side of the A over here. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to pop this one right up over here. Actually, we're going to keep it nice and high, and we're going to we're going to go right through this T. Why? I don't know. Just because. Because that's what it feels like doing today. See that? It just kind of jutted out here and then flew over here. And I think it adds a cool feature. And then we can even just do that, you know? Just give it a little, I don't know, whatever the heck you want to call that. Um, this tee doesn't have enough style, so we're going to add one of these. Plus, there's too much open space over here, so I think that kind of helped a little. And we'll, we'll fix this side up a little as well. Just add one of those over there. All right, so the T and the A are looking okay, but now we have to somehow add the M to the A. So let's do this. Let's, let's take this part right here, and let's try and connect it to this part of the A right here. And what we can even do is we can put a little break here. So it shows that the M is stopping here, but it's, this part's kind of continuing on over here to the A. And that's just a simple way of doing things. I'm just gonna continue the A through there. And you know what, there's too much open space up here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add a little something to this A. We're just gonna go down like that, and over like that, and just cut it off right there. What we're also gonna do is take some of this M, and we're gonna bring it down here. Now you see what we did there? We just kind of filled up this empty space there, and that helps a lot. Um, I think there's some empty space at the bottom of the M as well, so we're just gonna do this. 
I'm just going to bring these puppies in over here. So that's looking pretty good. Now, how can we connect this E to this M? Well, there's not a whole lot we can do because there's not a lot happening around here. So I guess we got to make some stuff happen. How about we do this? How about we bring this part down here? And instead of connecting to this, which would be the easy option, let's do something a little different. Let's bring this back in, and then let's swing down over here. And we're going to say hi to this part of the E, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing we did over here. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I want to do it. We're just going to show a little break there. So it just shows that the E and the M aren't together, but they're just... You're going on a little date, if you will. Um, and now I'm just, I've got all my letters connected, so now I'm just going through and I'm adding a little style, you know? A couple serifs, a couple juts, whatever, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, basically we're just perfecting everything. Um, one thing you can even do is you can go in and add these kind of things. You know, just, just some little breaks in the letters. Um, it's just simple. It's it's a simple way of adding some style. You never have to go too crazy if you just keep it simple and you know try experimenting with stuff. So yeah, I mean it's not perfect, but you get the idea. All right, now I want to give you guys a quick lesson on 3D. There's two ways we can do 3D. We can either well let's set up some letters. I know these aren't letters; they're just boxes, but we're we're keeping it simple. We're pretending those are letters. And I'm going to draw some other letters here. Because there's two ways you can do this 3D. The first way we can do 3D is we can just draw lines down from all our points. And then what we do is we close off the bottom by keeping it parallel with the bottom of the letter. So like that. Now what it looks like is we have four 3D boxes. And that's the way it works with letters. You just draw lines down from all the points and then you connect them. Now if the letter, if the bottom of the letter, you know, kind of went like that on an angle, still works the same way, you know, just like that. We follow the line parallel. Now let's say we want to do a 3D with a vanishing point. That works a little bit different. Let's say we draw our vanishing point here. Now what we do is we take all our lines and instead of drawing them right down, we're going over to the vanishing point. So for every letter, it's the way the lines are gonna go is gonna change. I see that, we get sort of a vortex kind of feel. And now we're just gonna close off these lines. Yeah, doing it really quick, guys. You know, give me a break. <laughs> now we're just gonna erase these vanishing point lines. As you can see, we get this cool 3D effect as if everything's kind of, you know, going to one center point. So now, if we were to add our 3D to this, it'd be quite simple. We just, let's do the one where we're just drawing our lines down, just for, save us some time. See, so all I'm doing is just bringing all these points down and connecting them. Real simple, you don't have to worry too much. There, so as you can see, we got our 3D. Um, know I did it really quick so it's pretty simple but it gives you the basic idea of how a 3d would look all right guys that's pretty much it so thanks for watching and be sure to tune in to part three where we talk about coloring in the letters also known as a fill all right peace